So I have 24 color stories. We'll start with the first one, which is Domino. Basically, it's a black and white story, um, which is pretty explanatory. You can tell that there's different textures from small scale to larger scale to um, mid scale. And then you can see also how everything works together. And everything has its own unique texture so that we're not mixing the same kind of surface uh, in a room. From here we'll move on to Bumblebee. And this is a, a story that's about gray and introducing gold to it, like the name implies. From here we have some more luxurious tapestries. And this is also a, another feature pattern that takes a rug motif and colors it in a more contemporary manner. And once again you can see how a pattern can be mixed with a solid and you have a stripe and they would work in the same room. I'm often asked what's the biggest color of, of the season and it has to be gray. That's why I've done so many fabrics that are influenced with gray. This particular palette is called Greyhound and it's about mixing the warm grays with the cool grays. This stripe also is a silken quality even though it's made out of polyester for durability. This florals to me are the basis of the history of fabric design and so here in this gray palette it updates it, makes it look fresh and not like something that would have been in your grandmother's attic. Now we're moving into a category that I call mink. A pattern that was inspired by the ironworks of the fences in Savannah, Georgia. This particular pattern has this interest matelassé ground but there's also a little bird here and a little turtle. And it's colored in a more contemporary way, but yet it's somewhat of a classic design motif. And then you can see how it works great with a stripe. And you can add it with a texture. And then you have your mink story. This color palette is called Dapple Gray, inspired by the backs of ponies. Um, here you can see a stripe and a ditzy and how these colors move together. The gray is a warmer shade so it's not cool. We move down and you can see how off-white works really well with this shade of beigey gray. As we go down the wall this, this palette is now travertine and this mixes besides the gray off-white also dark brown blacks. Um, to bring the contrast in a little more of a punch and dramatic look. And then as we move down to this palette, this is Oat. Now Oat is the warmest palette that we're showing this season, meaning it's the most yellow. Um, you can see here once again how a, a design motif can mix with a stripe, mix with a small ditzy, and, and mix with a texture and there you have a room. Um, these are more fabrics that are in the oat family. The larger pattern here is somewhat Bollywood inspired. It's taking traditional to a different level and, and a luxury plane that really ties in with everything.